Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka Drive. Pretty guys, another episode of our Pokemon Legends Arceus Let's Play. If you guys are excited for this one, show some love, hit that like button down below, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Big shout out to all the A Drive Army Plus members who have been holding it down, getting that early access. I hope you guys have been binging it. And don't forget, we got that triple Nintendo Switch giveaway going on at adrivelive.com, so don't miss it. We're gonna be jumping into story right here. This is big story time. Let's do it. Let's not waste any time. I'm very excited. We're at the uh, climax or headed towards the climax of the game right here, right now. My man Liam. Leon? Leon? I think it's Leon. He's got to tell me what's going on because we just got banished from Jubilife. What in the world did you do? Look at the size of that rift. If lightning starts pouring from it, all the Pokemon in Hisui could be thrown into a frenzy. The entire clan is in panic now. I should have known that the only thing that could come from that rift was disaster. I need help. Help? Well, that's not exactly something I can do. It's not like I wouldn't like to help you, but it would put Arita in a difficult position. I truly wish I could repay you for quelling Cleaver's frenzy as you did. You must know that, but there's nothing I alone can do for you. Warden Mai might be able to help you though. She's a caring woman after all. You'll most likely find Mai at the Warren Bridge. I believe it's a very significant place for her. I'm certain that somewhere in the vastness of Asui, there's a place for you as well. Hmm. So we gotta go find Mai now. So I'm gonna hop on Braviary and head over there. Yo, look at this, a Gyarados flying around. I've never actually seen that. That's hilarious. A lot of people don't realize Gyarados is a flying type, right? So, makes sense. And there she is, Warden Mai, who we really haven't seen a ton of. I'm gonna fight this Geodude real quick and then I'll talk to Warden Mai. There she is. My, my, what a frightful sky. Such a disturbing sight would be enough to put anyone ill at ease. You don't know what this brought this about, do you? I'm trying to find out. I suppose it's too much to expect that you could already have an answer to all this. I heard from our leader what happened. You can't return to that village, Aborius, can you? But I'm afraid the Diamond Clan cannot be the ones to save you. The Diamond Clan could end up at war with the Galaxy team if things went badly. I think you would regret that as much as anyone. The Great Weird Ear took a liking to you. I want to offer you my support, but forgive me. I cannot help you in this. Do not abandon hope. Time solves all things. And besides, you seem to have a talent for making your own way in the world. I have no doubt you'll continue to find a path to walk. Well, no one's helping me. Leon's not helping me. Mai's not helping me. I'm just gonna sit here looking at the water and Hoping for the best, I guess. I'm just, I'm just outcast. What is this? A Shanks. Yes, little Shanks, what can I do for you? Shanks usually attacks us, so this is interesting. And running off to his little Luxios. Are they gonna take me somewhere? Curious what's gonna happen next. Ah, Volo. Not Volo. Strange events seem to follow you wherever they go, don't you? Don't they? Oh, it is Volo. Found you at last, eh, Drive? I've been looking all over for you, you know? What would I do if I lose one of my favorite customers? Don't worry, I already heard what happened. A GERD merchant knows well the importance of staying abreast of all the latest news. It seems you're quite in a pinch. No place for you among the Diamond Clan or the Pearl Clan. To say nothing of how poorly the Galaxy team has treated you. But not to worry, there are still corners of Hisui region where we can stash you away in secret. I know a spot that'll be the perfect hideaway. Leave it all up to me. What is that? Why do I need to be hit away though? I guess is like also my question. Here we are. What is this? I know, it's no palace, but you know the saying about beggars and choosers. Is this where the merchants hang out? This is interesting. And it's like Jubilife where I don't have, um, who's this? I don't have like my ride Pokemon. Shirking your work to come pester me again, even beneath the bleeding sky, you never change. 
Always a pleasure, Mistress Kagita. But I'm afraid I'm not here today to learn more of... But I'm afraid I'm not here today to learn more of Hitsui's myths and legends. No, Mistress, thank you, just Kagita. And this is? Why, well, this is Adrab, the man of the hour. He's the one who quelled the frenzy of all the Pokemon nobles, believe it or not. Ah, the poor wretch you spoke of, lost in time and space. Dear me, lost one, it seems I'll be able to fulfill my duty at long last, thanks to you. Duty? Indeed, I am to guide you, lost one, for the task of preventing great disaster falls to you. The rift in space-time must be mended, lest time and space themselves be thrown out of balance. But come, you may enter my dear hideaway. There's much to be told. Who is Kagita? The space-time rift is said to be the portal to innumerable other dimensions. In one such realm, far and farther than still from ours, dwells almighty Sinnoh. The Diamond Clans? The expanse from antiquity to eternity and the expanse to all sides, above and below. Time traces the path we tread from here and now into the future, while space yawns all encompassingly, surrounding us in every direction. You see, don't you, the two together, time and space, comprise all creation, the universe. How can one claim that either is greater than the other, as those two clans do? They're inseparable. Perhaps the truth is clearer to a wanderer such as you, one who has known other ages. Now listen, lost one, here is what you must do. Hisui holds three lakes of great importance, Lake Verity, Lake Valor, and Lake Acuity. And each dwells a Pokemon said to embody one aspect of the mind. Complete the trials each will set you, and bear their gifts to the shrouded ruins. There you may receive the red chain. With it, perhaps you can bind the world together. Bind the world, you say? You mean it won't close the rift? Kindly spare me your doubts, young man. I know the old words and what they bid us do. How true they are is in mine to know. And regardless of the truth, I am bound to pass them on. How callous of my ancestors to leave their legends to their children without a thought for the hardship it would cause them. But here we are. You know your duty, and you'll do it, won't you? Of course. There is nobility in knowing what must be done and seeing to it. Oh, my arc phone is beeping again. You can see the locations of the three lakes marked on your arc phone. Mistress Kogita has a lovely workbench here, and if you need materials, I'll be glad to help. I'm always happy to do business with you. What about the pastures? That is a problem. What shall we do about that indeed? What was that cry? Have we now a lost Pokemon as well as a lost child? Do see to it, please. Is that an Abra? Off we go, A-Drive. So, I can access all my stuff. And we have to complete the trials of the three lakes now. Oh, there's an Abra. It's an Abra, where did you teleport in from, little fellow? Is that si uh, Silene's? It's got a letter addressed to you. You take a closer look. To a drive, you may use my Pokemon as a go-between between between to access the pastures in Jubilife. I've also ensured that you'll be able to fully utilize our base camps without issue. I have every confidence in your ability as an Adept Survey Corps member to bring this bizarre situation under control promptly. Sincerely, Silene. Silene hooking it up! Good tidings from the letter then, eh? It's a secret. Now then, so we're visited to Three Lakes. It doesn't sound like an easy task, that's for sure. It would be wonderful to have a kind soul who might help us. Quite the opportunity, aren't you, Volo? Such a consummate guide merchant, guild merchant. I've managed to reassure my people for now. The wardens are keeping a close eye on their nobles too. Seems all's quiet for the moment. And so, here we are. But still, we'll never get away with openly aiding you. If we were to undermine the commander's direct orders, relations would grow strained. Long story short, we want to help, but without drawing attention, so it'll just be one of us. Me or her, it's up to you. Though the answer should be obvious. Oh, I gotta choose. Do I want Adamant or Arita? I'll take Arita. Of course you'll choose me. I was the one who got uh, you what you needed when you first set out to quell Cleaver. You and I made his bombs together. Yeah, I choose you. Just what I would expect of you, Adrav. You made the right choice. You won't regret it. So then, the leftover leader will... Leftover? Think again. A-Drive trusts me enough to leave the tough job up to me alone. 
I'll be keeping an eye on the commander so I can let you guys know if anything happens. Of course, of course. And the lucky chosen one comes with us to the lakes. We can fill you on the details as we go. Well, the first task will be to decide which of the Hisui region's great three lakes to visit. But yes, we should get moving. I'd rather we walk this road together, but if the commander were to get wind of it, it would only make things worse. I'll meet you at whichever lake we choose. All right, Arita, you and A drive. Well, you two do what needs doing. The trial of Lake Verity, the trial of Lake Valor, and the trial of Lake Acuity. Sweet stuff. All right, so let's take a poke around here. Is there, is there anything worth, can I get this stuff? No, I, I assume there's nothing I can do here. They just have a little farm. I can get my items here if I need them. I guess I'll box some stuff real quick that I don't need. All right, so I get the freedom to choose whichever one of the lakes I want, and I think it makes sense for me to go to uh, Verity first. We'll kind of do them in order. Uh, we'll do Verity, and then we'll kind of work our way up the map. And here is the lake. All right, how do you open it, guys? They say this lake used to be a volcano. Then it erupted, leaving a huge crater that filled with water, and so Lake Verity was born. It is protected by a Pokemon called Mesprit. It was when West Mesprit took flight that people first learned the joys of sorrow and living. And that's how the old tales go anyway. Your arc phone is beeping. Face ID recognition, bro? Is that what I had to do this whole time? Just use face ID? The, the cave, it just appeared from nowhere. Is that what the arc phone the professor was going on about? What surprises wait within? Mistress Kagita seemed quite intent that you would have to prove yourself to all three Pokemon that guard these lakes. This challenge was never for the faint of heart. All right, well, this is gonna be intense. I guess we're gonna find out what's good. The air feels somehow tense in here. Oh my God, a Gudra. A menacing Pokemon stands before you. You and your Pokemon quelled the Sui's nobles. You can handle any battle, eh, drive. All right, I guess I gotta battle this dude. Um, who's kind of my best bet here? Probably Luna going for a ground move, maybe? I guess we're gonna find out. Let's get it. All right, Slime Shady's rival here. All right, Luna, let's get it. What level is this thing gonna be? 58, okay, not as bad as I thought. Honestly, not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. And he goes for a water move, so that's gonna tickle a little bit. Um, okay, I think we headlong rush. I don't think it KOs. I can headlong rush agile and then maybe strong style and maybe that'll do enough. Oh yeah, if I had just strong style, that would have one shot. All right, let's, um, yeah, let's just headlong rush again. I don't even have to like think twice. This is, we're good. We're good against the Gudra. Okay. It's curious, but when I watch you in your Pokemon battle, I feel as if there's no obstacle that can't be overcome if people and Pokemon work together. Now let's see about the Pokemon of the lake. You feel a mysterious presence. Mesprit! All right, well, I'm gonna save just in case. I guess I'll use Venomax. Do I get to catch you? Your emotions, share them with me. They're yours. I can only imagine how it must feel to speak directly with a Pokemon like that. When you fell to this land, what stirred in your heart? Surprise. I wonder if these options matter. How did it feel to bond with Pokemon and work together? Exciting. What did you feel when you mingled with Hisui's clans? It's a wide world? Kind of weird options. What did you feel when you cast out the galaxy team? Life is complicated. Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. Oh, I don't actually get to catch him. Not right now, anyway. What is that? Mesprit's Plume. 
Proof that you have completed the trial set by Mesprit and the being of a motion that lives in Lake Verity. Okay then. Are you leaving now, Mesprit? Or do I get to battle you? Ah, uh, you're leaving me. I know that that Pokemon spoke with you, yet the words did not reach my ears. It's mysterious, but I suppose when dealing with someone who fell from the sky, it's only natu natural to encounter mystery. Next on, to Lake Valor and Lake Acuity. All right, let's do it. One down, two to go. Looks like that worked out well, A-Drive. I must say, you know an awful lot about Hisui, Volo. I suppose a merchant like you sees all sorts of things in their travels. That's right, you could say it's because I'm a merchant, but mostly because I'm naturally filled with curiosity. I want to know exactly what happened in the past that led us to this particular present. Or more accurately, I suppose, I want to know where I came from and where I'm headed. I want to know my path, so to speak. The same goes for me. Our clan settled at the very spot where our forebearers once beheld Almighty Sinnoh. But I still have never seen Almighty Sinnoh for myself. Weighty matters to ponder for sure, but we have an important task before us. Do you want to return to Mistress Kagi's home? Yeah, we can go back. And then we'll need to tra uh, travel to the next place. And then see what she thinks of our progress. Interesting that this lady, Mistress Kagita, has just been chilling in this location for who knows how long. Ah, Mesprit's plume. So the legend sold the truth, then the red chain must be real as well. I beg your pardon, Kagita, ma'am? But what do these Pokemon that represent the mind have to do with this red chain, and why exactly should it bind the world? Your doubt suggests a keen intellect. I see that you're not your clan's leader for nothing. Without the mind, were the rift to widen and the very world to end, would we even know it? One might even say the world. Time, space, all creation exists only because our minds are there to perceive it. Perhaps the Red Chain's purpose is to let one see creation as it truly is. I uh, what? So does the mind create the world? But isn't the other way around, or is it? Such are myths, my child, teaching us about the world in their own incomprehensible ways. They urge us to think more for ourselves on the nature of Almighty Sinnoh and on the nature of the world in which we dwell. You're absolutely right. Myths and legends are such fascinating things to study. In any case, all we have to do is complete two more trials and we'll get to the red chain. How nonchalant you sound. How confident of successes to which you contribute nothing. You tag along only for the chance to gawk at more ancient ruins. Jeez. Hit him with it. All right, so it looks like we're gonna do the trial of Lake Acuity, which is kind of the next one it wants me to do, and then we'll do the Crimson Mirelands. Quick detour. The person I've been waiting for, my Kyo Kyo, wandered off to play, but they haven't come back. Do you think you could help me find them? You mean Vulpix? Oh, back home in Alola, Vulpix were called Kyo Kyo, you see. And it was Alolan Vulpix! Did you not go play with the rest? This is an Alolan Vulpix. They blend right into the snow with their white fur, so trying to find them would take ages. I'm still missing five. You should be able to find them playing by the avalanche slopes. Could you go and tell them to come back? All right, where's the avalanche slopes? Oh, over here. Okay, I'll go there. Yo, a Blissey, a Blissey, a Blissey! I gotta get it, I gotta get it. I'm being attacked by an Ambipom. And all I wanna do is catch a Blissey. No, don't run away, Blissey, please don't run away. Oh, it ran away. That was another Dex page I wanted to finish. Ugh. All right, I found one of this, the Vulpix here. I'm gonna just do this little quest, cause why not? Do I have to catch him or do I just talk to him? I just talk to him, I guess. Hey, little guy. Bro, a guard chomp. Okay, I gotta get the guard chomp. I gotta do it. It's gonna be hard, but I gotta go for the guard chomp. Let's see if we can catch him. Uh, this is another dex page. Definitely want level 85, bro. This is the highest level I faced. This might be the one from the trailers too. That's actually crazy. I'm just gonna ice punch him. I don't think it even KOs. It doesn't even do half, dude. Wow. Outrage, I might just die here. He's level 85, bro. If he, uh, yeah, he's gonna strong style outrage and knock me out now. Can Luna live? No, no, Luna cannot live. Okay, um, well he's stuck using outrage. My team does not really have an outrage answer. So that's a thing. Um, let's go into, I mean, Slime Shady's the play afterwards, but let's go into Pyre here and I will, I get to hit him twice. So I'll Infernal Parade twice. Probably not even gonna do that much. Okay, that's a good damage. And I'll do it again, and then I probably just get knocked out in the next turn. I got him low, though. Yeah, he earth powers. 
Just wrecks me, but I did get him low, so... One more hit probably puts him in a good range for me. So I'll go Venomax. Maybe go for Poison Jab, because it's resisted. If he attacks twice, I'm dead, though. Yeah, he gets to attack twice, because why wouldn't he? Okay. <laughs> I just want a guard shot, man. Um, let's go for a lock, and we'll go for... I don't see a world where Energy Ball KOs here. Actually, I don't see a world where Silverwind KOs. I'm just going to go for Silverwind. Yeah. Okay, that's good. I got him to red. I'm going to get outraged my face in here. Um, the good news is... I can go into Slime Shady, who can live potentially two hits. That's This is really all I got here. So I'm either going to catch him here or I'm not. I mean, I got him in the red. I got Ultra Balls. This is, this is it. I mean, this is... If I'm going to catch him, it's right now. Let's go! Guard Chomp is down. I'm going to mark it off my list. And Vulpix number two. And little Vulpix numero trace. What's that little guy? And just one left after this one. Oh, there he is. This one's very pensive. Look at him. <laughs> What's that little guy? All right, we found them all. It wasn't too bad. Actually, it wasn't bad at all. Hopefully, we can get one now. Alola. Thanks for helping me. They're all back safe and sound. Do I get to keep that one? Oh, this one's taking a liking to you. Could you take this little one with him? I'm sure I'll help you with the survey work. And we get a Lowland Vulpix. Very nice. I'll send you to the pasture for now. And the last lake. Well, not the last lake. The second to last lake. What do we got going on here? Arc phone, open the door, baby. Here we are. Lake Acuity. You know, I've been told it contains seawater as well. Nobody knows why, though it could be a fluke of geography or perhaps connected to Pokemon somehow. Lake Acuity is protected by the Pokemon Uxi. When Uxi took flight, the knowledge to solve problems was born in people's minds. That's what the stories say anyway. Your arc phone is beeping. Gotta use our face ID again. Very good. And open sesame. A tool that can make caves simply appear from nowhere is quite a handy one to have. I imagine there may be a Pokemon protecting the lake's guardian. Take care. Curious what it's going to be this time. I sense a chill in the air. What is this? Ah, Hisuian Zorark! Could, could that be the dreaded Baneful Fox? I hope I can f catch him. Oh, let's get it, Slime Shady. Let's go. Oh, I have to walk into him. I really hope I can catch him, because I definitely want this Dex page. This is one of the coolest Pokemon in the game. All right, Slime Shady, do your thing. He's normal and ghost. Level 58. All right, so we're chilling. Shadow Claw. Um, I can go for normal ghost. I can go for... I don't think Dragon Pulse KOs. He's pretty frail, but that's good. He's gonna Agile style, nasty plot. Dude, one of the sickest mons for sure in the game. On Shadow Claw. Ooh, that hurts. Can I catch it? I guess I can try, yeah. This would be a nice dex page to get too. Didn't work. All right, I'm gonna have to weaken him a little bit more, which is fine. He'll Shadow Claw me again. Definitely gonna knock me out. Um, Silver Wind will be resisted, so it's not gonna do that much. So we'll go into Luck, and we'll go for, we'll just regular Silver Wind. Like I said, it's resisted, so it shouldn't do too much. Perfect. It's right where I want him. I'm gonna get destroyed right now, though. Yeah, that's gonna hurt a little bit. Um, <laughs> poor luck. Okay, but now, now I should be able to hopefully catch him. So we'll go to Venomax because he resists. And then let's throw an Ultra Ball and see if I catch him. 
Because, like I said, this would be huge. Come on, baby. Yeah! Zoroark is down. Another page. Let's go. And it was an alpha. The Baneful Fox is a Pokemon said to be filled with malice. We were told stories about it as children. You feel a mysterious presence. And there is Uxie, of course. What is your trial? Come, I will test your knowledge. Combe, Zubat, Unknown, Magneton, Dusclops. How many are their eyes? Tell me each, one by one, yet all at once. Answer me. Can you repeat that? Combi, Zubat, Unknown, Magneton, Dusclops. Uh... I... I don't know. Combi has three, Unknown has none? Un... Or Zubat has none, Unknown has one? Magneton has three, Dusclops has one? I'm ready to answer. Answer your answer is a series of numbers. I don't know. Three, zero, one, one, th three, one. This is like gotta be one of the craziest. Three, zero, one, three, one. I keep hitting delete. Answer me true. If answer you would. That's not it then. Okay, then let's look at our Pokedex. So unknown has one. Let's see, Combi. All right, Combi has six eyes. So Combi has six. Zubat, unknown has one. Zubat has, let's see. Zubat has zero, which I had right. Magneton. Magneton has three as well, which I got right. And then what was the last Pokemon? Dusclops. Dusclops has one. So I think the issue was I, the Combi I got wrong with six. All right, 60131. I think that that's right. I guess I got it right then. Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. Okay, so that was our quiz. That was... Interesting. I, I got the combi wrong, surprisingly, as a bug guy. Go figure. I'm, I get the combi wrong. But we get Uxie's Claw. See you later, Uxie. Thanks for chilling with us, homie. Thanks for the, the quiz. Goodness, that was tricky, but only one more to go now. I assume all went well, A-Drive. Still, I must wonder, why don't they give the red chain? Why is all this running about? Perhaps they meant to test whoever seeks it is worthy. Perhaps you're right. Who knows what would happen if it fell into the wrong hands after all. Though, on the other hand... What use would those wrong hands have for it? Who can say for sure? Maybe the red chain has some other use besides mending the world. The red chain's as mysterious as this entire predicament we're in. But if we continue visiting the lakes, we'll get closer to an answer. So shall we return to Mistress Kagita's home? Yeah, let's head back. And then one lake to go, baby. Wonderful that we can see if Mistress Kogita has any more insight to share with us. So that Uxie's claw, I sense a warmth to it. I do have wonder if anyone else has completed the trials of these lake Pokemon. Indeed, yet we may be able to dash more speed. Things in Jubilee are tense. What makes you say so? It seems a Pokemon's been glimpsed on the other side of that rift. One of the Ginkgo merchants informed me that Commander Kamado has raised a force, not to survey the Pokemon, but to subdue it, should they need a rise. One of the Ginkgo Guild merchants, you make it sound as if you're not one of them. Now, if, if a Pokemon were to truly appear from beyond the rift, what would become of everyone, I wonder? Don't let Hisui's great vastness stop you, A-Drive. Let's go get the final item we need. That's the spirit. I'll come to watch this historic moment unfold as well. Watch? Is that really all you'll do? Remember, once you've sought the third lake and find out what's needed for the red chain, make for the shrouded ruins. And the final trial right here. Do you know about Lake Valor? It is said to be formed from a volcanic eruption, much like Lake Verity. Though there are other theories that it was carved in the midst of a Pokemon battle. The lake is protected by the Pokemon Azelf. When Azelf took flight, the will to do what needs doing was born in people's hearts, or that's what legend would have us believe. My arc phone is a beepin'. Uh, 
Oh, a cave appears just where there was none. Let's head in. I imagine a strong Pokemon could wait inside. Let's see what it's gonna be. Hopefully it's something cool. I would honestly take a... I don't know what it's gonna be. Hopefully something I don't have yet. What a eerie space. Why would there be columns inside a cave anyway? Ah, it is Overquill. That's a cool one for sure. I do already have one though. But it is very cool as an alpha. Um, I am going to just destroy his soul with Luna. That's a cool one. I wonder if, if there's any, if like it's random what they are. I doubt it. No, it can't be because there was that whole story for the fox. Look how big that thing is, dude. Level 58. Oh, wait. He's just going to Aqua Tail me? Ouch. I'm pretty sure Headlong Rush Strong will just one shot, though. Luna is such a beast. Yup. Not even a problem. I knew you could do it, eh, Drive? I feel a mysterious presence. Azelf's coming. All right, what's your trial? Show me unyielding will. Strike me if you can. Oh, this is gonna be way different. Wait, bombs, are you meant to try to hit Azelf with them? I missed. Did I fail? Will you abandon this folly? I'm not through yet. Oh my God, I'm so bad at this. How did that miss? I'm missing by like the tiniest bit. Oh my gosh. This <laughs> speedrunners are gonna be struggling, man. Yeah, I'm gonna keep trying. I will get this. I'm I'm missing just barely. Oh, that was maybe you can hit it. Because I feel like I was there. Give up. You struggle in vain. Will you press on? I'm not through. I'm going to hit you. Is that... Oh, do they make it so you like easily can hit it? I don't know if you're supposed to hit it before I hit it. Because I, I was close a few times. But I'm going to get the spirit. So I got that going for me. Azelf's Fang. See you later, Azelf. That looked exhausting, but we've journeyed to all three lakes. It seems we've finished the three lake trials. If I remember correctly, we were told to then head for the Shrouded Ruins. I don't know what could await us there, but I'm always excited to explore some ancient ruins. Let us be on our way. The Shrouded Ruins. Mist is so good at destroying things. It's said to long said blur boundaries. If we were to somehow bring together the world of humans, the world of Pokemon, and the world of myth, then maybe we need such a setting as this. That being said, what are we meant to do now? Seems I've made it in time. You arrived just when we assembled all three gifts. Did you somehow see our progress across the distance dividing us? I had the aid of a rather remarkable Pokemon, if you really wish to know. Could you mean the Pokemon that uh, flits about the Hisui region? Ah, oh, but never mind that now. What about the red chain? How are we to forge it? I would hardly know. We speak of a divine instrument, one said to be capable of binding the very world. Do you really imagine it could be forged by mortal hands? Then what are we to do? Search the entire vastness of Asui for the answer? I had a feeling these three would show up. Ah, oh, the Pokemon of the lakes. Oh, 
Oh, they're just gonna hook me up with it. The red chain, baby. See you later, guys. I'll see you back at the lakes at some point. So it was true. The pact our people have passed down for all these generations has been kept. At last, I can set this burden aside. You've succeeded once again, A-Drive. Yet things do not seem to be going well for the rest of the world. What have you heard now? I've heard some news from my fellow merchants in the guild. It seems the commander is going to forego waiting for the investigation to finish. He plans to climb Mount Coronet himself. Has he lost his senses? He plans to close the rift to study it himself. Well, he doesn't know yet that A-Drive has managed to get the red chain now, does he? That's true, there's no way he could. We need to tell him about the chain and about everything as a drive has achieved before he sets out. Oh, we're going back to Jubilife. What's going on, Akari? A drive? Welcome back. It's been grim. We in the Survey Corps hardly even speak to one another lately. But with you back, maybe Captain Silene's appetite for Moki will return. Anyway, wait a minute, will you? I'll go back and let the captain know you're back. I love how the guards don't even stop me from coming back. Oh, my dear A drive. The professor has been awfully worried about you, A-Drive. Of course I was worried, but I don't think I can handle, hold a candle to the stress you showed, Akari. That, that, that's blowing it out of proportion. I don't think it's appropriate for an adult to make things up just to hide their embarrassment. But, um, where's the captain? Wasn't she coming along with you, professor? She's buried under a mountain of work, I'm afraid. What is, how is that more important? We're to join her in a Survey Corps option, office. It seems her hands are more full now that Commander Kamado's gone. The commander's gone? Well, he set out for Mount Coronet with a security corps in tow. He's determined to handle this whole space-time rift business himself, including dealing with the Pokemon that's been spotted on the other side. That's why I was ready, uh, filling in for the regular guards with Pikachu at the ready. That explains how we got back in. Well, at least we aren't getting anywhere out here. Let's head inside and report to the captain. So you managed not to die, just as I ordered. Well done. Thanks to you, captain. You have no idea what you're implying. All I know is Abra vanished on its own accord, inconveniencing me greatly. Before moving forward, I must ask, I assume you're here again because you've managed to learn something of use. I got this red chain. Go on. You explain about the red chain. A legendary tool said to bind the very world. Commander Kamado is no longer here in Jubilife. The security corps had been scouting the area near the space time rift and they reported sightings of something on the other side of it. Something that resembled a Pokemon. The commander made the decision to take the security corps to the mountain. So to prepare to fend off any possible threat. They were to make for the temple at the peak. However strong the commander himself may be, he should have gotten a drive to help. As the captain of the Corps Survey Corps, I hereby order you to proceed as follows. A drive, take the red chain to Mount Coronet. Make your way to the peak and put an end to all this. You are officially reinstated at your former rank. Are you certain you can do that with the commander away, Captain? If he didn't wish for me to decide things in his place, then he should not have left me in charge here. Then I'll go as well. We're all in this together, we members of the Survey Corps. Naturally, no one suggested you should not. Let him know, Silene, let him know. Did you find the commander? The commander is already a Mount Coronet. Already, how could a grown man like Commander Kamado be so reckless? First expelling you, A-Drive, and now this. I think he needs a stern talking to. As the leader of the Pearl Clan, loyal to the almighty Sinnoh who reigns over all space, I can go anywhere in Vastasui that I please, and I'm gonna go stop the commander. Hmm, who is the reckless one? Hey, you got run out of the village, right? But you still try to find a way to help us all? That's right, A-Drive worked hard to get the ranch chain to help us. Too right, and a fine job he did too. The Survey Corps is always hard at work for the sake of everyone here at the village, as well as the sake for, of our relations with Pokemon. Here, take this. A Max Revive. Oh boy, you know that something about to go down when they just hand in you Max Revives. Okay. Your orders are three. One, make for the summit camp, and from there the Temple of Sinnoh. Two, use the red chain to resolve this mess. Three, return here alive. I've heard the latest, so you've been accepted back into the galaxy team, have you? I suppose congratulations are in order. Here's some max potions for me to celebrate. 
Oh boy, they really want you to be ready for this fight. It looks like the big moment is upon us at last, but no doubt it'll be fine. After all, you worked so hard to earn that red chain. Both Adam and Arita have headed to the peak as well. My good friend A-Drive, I wish you great fortune in the battles to come. I would truly regret losing one of our most beloved and loyal customers. It seems Kamado intends to use the summit camp as a base of operations for this undertaking. As for me, I think I'll set up shop close to the temple itself. Oh, Melly's back. Things certainly seem to have gotten out of hand. Well, if anything goes wrong, the great Melly will be here, for moral support at least. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think that that is where we are going to wrap up for this one, my friends. I'm gonna let the squad out of their Pokeballs for a nice rest before we climb all the way up to the very top of Mount Coronet here. Mount Coronet, Mount Coronet, I always say it wrong. I just love Slime Shady in his shell. Thank you guys so much for watching this one, of course. Hit that like button if you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Big shouts to all the A-Drive Army Plus members getting an early access. And me, Luck, and the rest of the squad, we'll see you guys on the next episode at the top of Mount Coronet. I'll see you guys then. Peace.